This is the sound a pendulum makes. This is the sound the clock made when the ball keep at my favorite haunt reluctantly asked me to leave. Cause the English majors who wanted to get wasted before they wrote and the engineers who wanted to get wasted after an eight hour workday were mad at me cause I was straddling space. And it's not a big deal and it wasn't supposed to be so I got up to leave but as I reached for my coat I glanced around and I decided to make one final inquest to attest some finky. Hey folks, if you want to understand me, you have to understand that. I have this thing for clocks and pretty girls. I prefer integration to derivation, and if you don't like calculus and you wonder what the hell is wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> but I know what you like. You want to mix metaphor or two that'll make even Freud proud. But it won't be a slip so much as a flick of the wrist, because I have some sleight of hand I've been dying to mix in, but I'm not an elite. I'm just good at what I do. Misdirecting on a mind wrecking proportion, because I have a certain motion when I'm breaking when I'm breaking down words, doubling down on the divergence of the free letters I've written in the Sandman. E, N, G. Enigmatic and energetic are English and engineering. No intersection between the two but the ones that I make. And I decided it's time to erase the line between what is and what could be. Between science and science fiction. Because I want to build the Tower of Babel out of carbon chains and linguistic arrays. I want to write to reason. I want to make a problem to solve a problem. No, I'm not sorry for disrupting your flow. You need to be sorry for disrupting mine. Uh, no. Dick.